So this is what the uh, waterfall display looks like. I've got it set to the slowest speed. If you come over here and you click on the set mode, um, I have it on slow and the slower it is the longer it takes to fill the waterfall display part but this is about a four minute video sorry four minute capture and as you can see here there's some activity here uh, this looks like it might be uh, intermittent AM this is AM I turn up the volume a little bit and I, I am in AM mode so this looks like there was some activity here let's see what this is notice the R for receive this is another AM signal yeah that's clearly sideband so I'll put it in sideband mode I'm d tuning it slowly here. So this waterfall display tells you what activity has been going on. Here's an open spot. If you wanted to call CQ, you could probably stick your receiver, your transmitter there. But every time I click one of these points, it automatically tunes the uh, receiver and the transmitter. So here, here, this is a strong signal. It's probably AM. Let me go back to AM mode. Yeah, you can tell because it's it's stable, it's steady. So this is what the waterfall display will do for you. And you can tell immediately where there's activity. This looks like it's some kind of digital mode down here. Yeah, it probably is. So that's AM. That's uh, sideband. But the solid ones are definitely AM. So that's how to use the waterfall display find frequencies, find activity, and uh, there's another one that's come up. This guy's tuning apparently. It's just tuning, no audio, just tuning up. So that's it. W6FCC doing a demo of using the uh, water vault display for uh, capturing what's been going on for the last four minutes on any band, any frequency. This happens to be the 80 meter band. Uh, I don't know what he's doing here. Get used to using RSBA1 to tune your radio and you'll and the mouse and you'll have a lot of fun. 73